though it's another rough night for firefighters across the area. In Washington County, three homes went up in flames. Brenda Waters explains why that fire in Denora was especially tough for firefighters. Like, I can't believe this is happening. I just can't believe this is happening right now. The 900 block of Thompson Avenue seemed to glow in the dark. As firefighters rushed into action, three houses burning and smoke so thick at times you could barely see the hand in front of your face. And the temperature was five degrees, but these firefighters from as many as five departments kept moving. I was awakened to my neighbors crying and screaming. They were crying and screaming, but alive. The fire broke out at 972 Thompson Avenue and quickly spread to houses on either side. One house belongs to Angie Santa. I probably woke up about 3 a.m. We keep the TV on and I kind of smelled smoke. So I went out in the hallway and was looking around and there wasn't any smoke in the house. So I figured maybe somebody had a wood burner on or something like that. But when I went back in the bedroom, it was really strong and kind of heard crackling. So I looked out the back window of the house and saw the neighbors, like their entire back porch engulfed. So I woke my wife up and called 911 and we just and they told us to get out of the house. Since the houses are so close together, when the fire broke out, the flames leapfrog from one house to the next. Everyone got out safely. One homeowner had five cats. Three of them were found by firefighters. They believe the others may have taken off. Although investigators know where the fire started, what caused it is still undetermined. Brenda Waters, KDKA News.